Kwame Banks, mm -hmm. a designer of yes. Black Line Designs. Mm -hmm. Will be the only uh, male designer for this evening at Confessions of a Goddess. Hello. He hello. <laughs> and uh, good morning. Oh, yes. And then who do we have here? I'm a plus size model. Yes. With the curves. You see Ew. him. Ew. Make it clap, make it clap. Hey. hey. The one and only. It's quite some. I just got from my jet. Excuse me. Oh yes. A little busy. A little busy. Little busy. <laughs> There's a venue for a walk. It's hot. Okay. Thank you. See ya. Thank you. Yes. You see the venue? See. Oh, please.
serving and diminishing her accomplishments. Thinking that her fall from grace would somehow signify their life. Then they shook her over confidence, thinking that they would validate themselves in the process. All to no avail. Then they alienated her, which in turn robbed her of her sense of belonging and community and left her untrusting of her fellow black queens, suspicious of all they said and did. Finally, they removed Zuri's dignity. And with that, any feelings of regalness on her part were lost. Zuri was left feeling calm and ordinary. Well, after these treacherous and treasonous acts, these friends, in a moment of clarity and self-reflection, realized that tearing Zuri down contributed not only to the dissemination of themselves, but to every other black woman trying to walk in her world. So, one by one, they returned her essence. First, they restored her character, then her confidence. They then helped her restore her belief in community and sisterhood. And finally, they returned her. 